didn't stand a chance. That's what one engineer said of the homes in Bremen, Kentucky, days after most of them were blown apart. WHS 11's Heather Fountain is walking through the wreckage with him this afternoon. Right now I'm standing in the middle of what looks like just a pile of debris. But up until a few days ago, this is where a home once stood. Engineering experts say this is just one example of why homes need to be built stronger. I mean, this is the top of the wall here. David Roosh has spent the last four days assessing damage to homes like this one across Kentucky, from Mayfield to here in Bremen. A lot of times it's just simple nails, just trying to just barely paint, barely attach it all um, to to this foundation. And even if it were attached, there's nothing sort of carrying the load from one to the other, and it just separates so easily. The engineer and assistant professor at Auburn University says the house once planted here didn't stand a chance against the E4 tornado that ripped through the Commonwealth. This foundation started to fail before the tornado even got there. The residents of this home took shelter underground. It's a lot just to move that side to side. Crediting this 10 by 12 bunker for saving their life. Whenever the lid started coming up, we kind of all just grabbed hold of it. And Pull down as hard as you can. I mean, I don't know what else to do. Roosh hopes the data he's collected this week will help with the push for better built homes. We have a choice. We can't just blame nature for all of it. And we have to decide of do we want to make the, it strong enough to even in an extreme storm, it still at least fails in a safe manner. Um, or do we just roll the dice every tornado season and just hope that it doesn't it doesn't hit us. David Roosh also commented on how unusual it was to see a tornado this strong and this far north in the middle of December. In Bremen, I'm Heather Fountain, WHAS 11 on your side.